All right, guys, what's going on? We're gonna go over the grip placement, grip pressure, arm extension, a little bit of trigger control. Before you even touch it, again, you wanna make sure those hands are cut together and you feel your hands together. Make sure you don't overlap your hands. Very important, make sure all four of your fingers of that weak hand are good and tight together. That pointer finger of that weak hand is all the way up against the trigger guard. You wanna make sure that your hand is up as high as possible, but you don't wanna get do it in, in the point where it's not helping you. So make sure you're feeling that, that, that spot on the grip as high as possible. That, that weak thumb, if you're not running the gas pedal or anything like that, should be pointing parallel with the frame of the gun and, and at the target. If you're using a gas pedal, you can actually put pressure into it just like you would the frame. Your grip pressure, 90% of it's gonna be pulling and pushing isometric. You're pushing with the heel of your strong hand and you're pulling with the four fingers of your weak hand. 90% of it, guys. It's a constant, steady pressure. The other 10% is gonna be your forearm of your weak hand. Those four fingers squeezing around the gun and even that weak thumb pushing into the go gun gas pedal or into your frame. Your arm extension, guys, is not symmetrical. Your strong hand that's pulling the trigger is farther back. So it changes how it looks when you drop iron in the mirror. That, that elbow's gonna be dropped down a little bit. It's very important to check this, okay? Just, just like that. So make sure that that weak hand is up higher than that strong arm. Now, when you get your grip pressure, you wanna get that grip pressure onto the gun as soon as possible. Ideally, your grip and your grip pressure is on the gun before your sights come remotely into play. Before shoulders is what I tell guys. Make sure you get your grip pressure as soon as possible. If you're shooting a gun that's got a thumb safety on there, make sure your grip is onto the gun with your four fingers so that we can. And before the heel of that hand is on the gun though, you take the safety off. It's also very important when you're doing things like prepping the trigger on a tighter shot that you wanna really get, make sure you get your grip pressure and then get your finger on the trigger to prep it. So on the trigger here, a couple things. You have pre-travel, you have over-travel, and you have reset. So you pre-travel, over-travel, reset. So I, I teach four different ways of pulling the, the trigger, and you choose on which target that's required to do such. But it's important that you play around with your trigger and feel it. Be able to take that slack out, be able to follow through on your reset, and feel that reset. So slapping the trigger like this is what we call one, just so you're, you're aggressively on it and off of it. A two is where you're just riding the trigger, you're not feeling the prep, you're not feeling the reset, you're not falling through. A three, you're prepping the trigger, and you're coming all the way out and prepping the trigger again. You're not actually stopping at the reset. And then a four is like when you're shooting groups, we don't see that very much in our sports. When we're prepping the trigger, we're following through on the over travel, and then we're going out just to that reset. So we're doing a quick recap here again. Riding the trigger on a two, feeling the reset, prepping again. It's very important, you need to play around with this. If, if you're like most guys, you've never realized you've just pulled the trigger. You've pulled it slower and you've pulled it quicker, but you never actually pulled it differently. So, not every target requires the same pull of the trigger. You need to make sure you know where your level is, what division you're shooting, and you get used to actually working all four levels of pulling the trigger for optimal accuracy and speed. 